It's called the Texas Junk Science Statute. And according to his attorneys, it was meant to save people like Robert Leslie Robertson III in 2003, convicted of killing his two-year-old daughter, Nikki. She had pneumonia. Doctors gave her opioids that modern doctors would refuse to give her now. But prosecutors blamed the brain bleed that killed her on shaken baby syndrome. Robertson is scheduled to die Thursday after nearly 22 years on death row. That death will follow me for the rest of my life. Brian Warden was the lead detective who helped convict Robertson. He's a pastor now, a preacher filled with guilt. And I've become convinced that Robert is an innocent man. There is no amount of theological gymnastics you can do to make this okay. In Palestine, Texas, Tuesday morning, attorneys tried to get the case halted on procedural grounds. A judge said no. It will take a recommendation by the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles and a decision by Governor Abbott to stop the execution now. Republican Jeff Leach is one of 86 state reps who signed a letter to the board and to the governor asking for clemency. I've been doing this long enough to know when the system fails someone, and I believe strongly that the system has failed Mr. Robertson in this case. Leach will lead a hearing in Austin Wednesday morning, but all the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee can do is continue to ask for a pause. Just give us 30 more days to make our case to the public. And tonight, the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles confirms to WFAA that the clemency decision regarding Robert Robertson is expected on Wednesday. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.